NISBA News is supported by the New York School's Insurance Reciprocal. At Broad Alban Perth High School, the robotics team, the Nut Jobs, is helping prevent the spread of COVID-19. The students were set to attend a World Robotics Championship in Detroit at the end of April. But with events canceled, they decided to use the materials they had left over and turn them into face shields for people to use. Order requests continue to pour in for more face shields for healthcare workers, fire departments, dental offices, pizza shops, and other businesses. It actually gives me a clear conscience every night when I go home, I'm not affecting anybody. So this is actually a pretty good idea by the nut jobs to come up with some, some uh, thing like this actually. I think it means a lot to the community. I've had great feedback. I think that um, that those people that didn't know we existed before are amazed at what the, the students are able to do. And I think they're very appreciative of what it is that we're doing. The shields are being printed and made at Coach Becker's dining room table at her home. Because of social distancing, the students can only provide input from their home. Nut Jobs team member Emily Micken worked with a group called Hack the Pandemic, which provided the approved files for the face shield design. This gave the school district the opportunity to create and distribute the shields. When this came up, we started seeing ways that um, we could help and we could start applying the principles that we learn in robotics to a real world situation, even though we're only in high school. It was, um, it was really awesome. It was a really good feeling to know that we don't have to just sit back and let it happen and ruin the fun. We could do something about it. We could help people and we could also learn from this experience. We can continue kind of like we were going to with our robotics season. We can bring that into helping to solve this solution that we've been training for because that's what we've been learning how to solve problems for years and now we can finally apply it. Rob Becker is Jill's husband. He's a school board member for the Broad Alban Perth Central School District who sees how this pandemic has united the students and staff. Be smiling and happy when times are good. Uh, the challenge and the growth comes when times are bad, when there are challenges to be overcome, when you have to get together as a community and, and fight through a difficulty. Uh, that's what we're doing right now. By the way, 413 protective shields have been produced at no charge. Stay tuned to NISBA News for continuing coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm Casey Nicholson reporting for NISBA News.